Go. Hey everyone, uh, Alex the Real Estate Dude here with another episode of Working Alaska where we're building the contest, context, not contest, around the working Alaskans, so the business owners and the entrepreneurs and the working moms of Alaska. Um, today we're with, you're going to have to move, have to help me with your name, Iris. Iris Williams. Williams. Uh huh. Mm, so Deanna is. I know Deanna. <laughs> is my middle name, and Iris Deanna is my blog, and okay. so it's kind of a branding thing. But I need to add in the Williams again because people are so confused. They're like, "Wait, what?" Mm -hmm. So Iris Williams, <laughs> Iris Deanna on Facebook and on yes. the blog. Yes. She's with Gut Health Matters, which I don't know what it is. So we're gonna learn together, <laughs> um, and we're gonna learn about her story and build some habits. Yes. Her. So you yes. ready? I'm ready. Okay. So we start with, like I told you. The very beginning. The very Where beginning. are you from? Where were you born? Okay, so I'm a military brat. I was born okay. in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. So that's Army then. Yes, that's Army. My when dad, already? My dad was like, <laughs> yeah. So my dad was an Airborne Ranger. Okay. And so, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. So we, um, I, it's so funny. You said you left Alaska when you were six months old. Mm -hmm. I left North Carolina when I was six months old. Okay. And I've never been back. And I've always wanted to go back. I so say, I want to go to the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to go to the East Coast. I want to visit, you know. But um, so that's where I was born. I moved around everywhere mm -hmm. Louisiana, Washington State, Oklahoma, Texas. I was in Alaska from ages 12 to 16. Okay. Then moved away. My dad fell in love with Alaska. My mom fell in love with Alaska. So um, they they were like, we want to come back. We want to come back. So we, it was a last station. Last duty station mm -hmm. was in Oklahoma. And my dad was training National Guard guys. Okay. And I was planning on buzzing my head and joining the military. Okay. okay. <laughs> I wanted to repel out of helicopters and save people's lives. Like that was my focus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so I was going to the gym and I was working out so I could, you know, pass PT tests and all this other uh -huh. stuff. I was going to join the Air Force because I knew that's where the PJs were. And then I learned that women weren't allowed in the PJs. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, no. What? They are now, but okay. um, they weren't then. Okay. So anyway, but I was going to the gym, and there was this uh, cute guy at the gym wearing a baseball cap one day. I was not interested. I was very, uh -huh. <laughs> I was very focused. I was like, I'll do this marriage thing when I'm like 29 uh -huh. or something. Um, so I met this guy when I was 18, uh, and we had a mutual friend. We hit it off. I was needing a spotter at the gym, and the uh -huh. guy that was spotting me, he worked at the gym. He's like, I don't have time. I'm doing this. So my now husband took the opportunity to be like, I'll spot you. Okay, so we're going to skirt. <laughs> yeah. We're going to hit the brakes real hard because there's a lot we're going to cover in I that know. little space. You're not, we're, we're, we're not going to just run through that. We're going to leave a cliffhanger, though. Like, okay, oh, cliffhanger. Now it's the love story. <laughs> Stop there. Go back. <laughs> so, um, Fort Bragg, North Carolina is where yep. you were born. Moved all over the place. All over. So at this point where you're meeting your husband, how old are you? I'm 18. Okay. Yep. So you graduate when that was in Oklahoma, you said? Uh-huh. So you graduated in Oklahoma then. Yep. And your plan was to not move back here. It was right. to No, I join wanted the Air to Force. move. I wanted to okay. move back here, but I wanted to, so my parents had, had were heading back up here. They were like, "We're going to head back up here." So I moved with them to help them. Okay. Get so I was going to join the Air Force here. Mm -hmm. And then, then go and do all my travels because I love oh, okay. Alaska. I okay. love Alaska too. Okay. So, um, so yeah, my husband and I meet. We get married. We actually, I moved up with my parents and helped them get settled. Mm -hmm. He wanted to come back to Alaska. Couldn't okay. find a job. Okay. I said I would never marry a military guy, and I didn't. <laughs> he joined the military six months after we got married. <laughs> So he joined oh, the military, man. we go to training in Florida, and he's like, look, you know I'm going to be deployed, so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and put for Alaska, because your mm -hmm. parents are up there. Right. So we did, we got mm -hmm. transferred up here, we were up here for 10 years, it's a miracle, it's an absolute miracle. He did two deployments, we did his entire tour here. Who was the Air Force? He was Army. Wow. And he, okay, that's know, even it's, more. It's a complete amazing. miracle. It's okay. a complete miracle. Yeah. So um, after two deployments, uh, just things were rough. Two deployments were rough. And he's EOD, so he's the okay. bomb squad. Yeah. Um, and uh, he was like, um, I think we're done. We're done. So he pursued medical retirement, and okay. we medically retired after 10 years. Here. Here. Yep. So what we a, got to stay. It break. was like a dream come true. It <laughs> yeah. was. It was. It was yeah. a dream come true because we both loved it. We didn't want to leave, mm -hmm. and we were able to stay. And so he goes to college. So I'm like, well, what are we going to do? You know, what uh -huh. are we going to do? And so he's like, well, I'm going to use the GI Bill. I'll go to college. He loves finance. The man is super smart. Banking, okay. finance, mm -hmm. that's his gig. Mm -hmm. So he goes to school. We're doing this thing. We, like, cut our budget mm -hmm. down, like, in half. So okay. we're just, like, hanging on. 
Um, but loving it. We're mm-hmm. spitting kids out because we decided once we started, mm-hmm. we're just going to spit them all out. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so it's great. And then he graduates and um, it's like, well, you know, what are we going to do? So during that time in 2012, mm-hmm. um, I get hit with some major gut issues. Okay. So I end up spending three days in the hospital. I thought I had food poisoning. I was positive okay. I had food poisoning. Okay. So the doctor comes in and, um, cause we had just moved into our house. 2012 was a really stressful year. We had just bought a house. We had just moved in and we had ordered hamburgers from the restaurant around the corner. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's it. I have food poisoning. I'm never eating hamburgers again. Yeah. Um, the doctor comes in and he's like, okay, you have a major gut um, disease and there is no cure. And I'm like, no, I don't. He goes, no, no. you yeah. do. I'm, I'm, I'm and I'm like, you. I'm telling you right uh-huh. now you do. Um, and, and I was like, uh, no, there's no way because I, I had already, we had already started on this journey of realizing that we need probiotics. So mm-hmm. I was on a pricey probiotic. I was mm-hmm. on a supercharged multivitamin. Like I knew I was healthy. I knew there was no way. Mm-hmm. So when he said that, I was like, this is crazy. So it was just a total rock to my world. Yeah. So this started our journey into researching gut health and what, okay. what the impact of gut health can have and how you can how your food, your diet, mm-hmm. um, exercise, things like that, but stress. Okay. So damage you've done from your childhood, uh-huh. eating poorly as a child, that can start damaging your gut, but it may lay dormant until you hit a stress mark in your life. And that just, boom, it, it can just trigger it. So you might have damage that just like doesn't doesn't surface until there's massive stress. Uh-huh. I know so, exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yes, yes. I'm dealing with it. Yes, we're, right. we're in it. So, so I was like, this is crazy. And so I, we start this journey and we're, we're going through all this. So I am in, and so I'm on two different medications mm-hmm. that are administered two different ways. This was not comfortable in any way. Okay. Um, well, TMI. But, um, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm going to get off of this. You know, mm-hmm. I've always, I'm, I'm a bit crunchy, so I'm like, I'm not staying on this medication. So I start talking, yeah. <laughs> we call it earthy country. I think earthy we're on the country, same yeah, I think we are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm talking to my doctor and I'm like, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to mm-hmm. wean myself off. And he's like, that's totally fine. You mm-hmm. can totally do that. And then I, so I'm like three months into this process and I get pregnant. And I'm like, okay. maybe I should tell my doctor. So I go in and mm-hmm. I, I start talking to my doctor and I'm like, so I'm pregnant. And he goes, oh, mm-hmm. whoa, 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 we got to put the brakes on. He goes, if you have a gut flare up while you're pregnant, I cannot save you and the baby. Like, we know that the medication is keeping you dormant, mm-hmm. so let's stay on the medication. I'm like, okay. He's like, it's a class B, you know, blah, blah. So, baby was born. I stayed mm-hmm. on the medication. Baby was born safe and sound. And I was like, okay, now I'm ready. I'm ready to start this process again. Yeah. And I hit um, a bad case of postpartum depression. Okay. And I didn't realize I could get postpartum depression six months after the baby's born. I thought it was something that was like this two-week period. Right, like, here it's, it is. It's not. It's not. So mama's okay. out there. If you're okay. dealing with it, it's not. Okay. Postpartum depression can hit you even years afterwards. It's okay. a hormone imbalance. So I hit this, and I'm talking to my midwife, and I'm like, okay, I, I don't want to hurt my kids, but uh-huh. I'd really love to throw my head through a wall. And she's like, well, let's get you some <laughs> balance here. You need a little bit of balance. Yeah. Um, so... She, we start on the different things and stuff is helping a little bit. And it's like, it's a beautiful Alaskan summer, like, Mm -hmm. like a day like today, all summer long. And I am sitting on my back porch, watching my kids play and flipping through Facebook. Like that's all I wanted. I didn't want to clean the house. I didn't have any motivation to do Mm -hmm. I didn't even have any motivation to play with my kids. Okay. I'm just sitting there watching them make sure they don't run into trees or something. Anyway. So I'm flipping through Facebook and a friend of mine is sharing about this Plexa stuff. Now, you need to understand, I was a very typical stay-at-home mom mm-hmm. and I had done MLM network marketing before and I was like, never again, uh-huh. not doing uh-huh. this. I had done all the different things. So I ignored her. I ignored mm-hmm. her for two months until she posted a story about a mom of three. And I was a mom of three at the time. Mm-hmm. She had found her energy, her motivation, <clears throat> and her focus. And I was okay. like... That's exactly what I want. Because yeah. I was in this mom like brain fog. And okay. I thought, this is it. I'm in mom brain fog and I'm a mom now. So mm-hmm. this is real life and this is what I have to look forward to and okay. I just have to deal with it. Okay. And so there was hope. There was all of a sudden mm-hmm. hope on the end of this story. Right. So I contact my friend and I'm like, okay, fine. Tell me about mm-hmm. this stuff. <laughs> and so she tells me about it and she was a mom of eight. And wow, okay. she had like okay. um, adrenal issues and her husband had massive migraines he dealt with. And 
they found relief. And she's like, Iris, this is not a magic pill, but it's giving us our lives back. Mm -hmm. It's like, give it, I'm like, well, we're going to help them. I'm going to give this uh -huh, a try. Yeah. So I ordered, and um, it was about three weeks after being on the product. I'll never forget the day. I'm holding a big load of laundry, and I turn the corner, and I look at my husband, and I'm like, I feel like cleaning the house again. I feel like playing with my kids again. I'm like, this is amazing. Hmm. So it started on that. Now, for the next year and a half, we actually yo-yoed on the product. Like, we'd forget to take it, and he'd take okay. it, forget yeah. to take it. Yeah. And he's yeah. going through school and stuff uh -huh. like that. So it was, it was a crazy time. Uh -huh. But finally, in the January 2016, mm -hmm. I'm like, look, we either get consistent on this or we're wasting our time and our money. Okay. And he's like, okay, we're going to give it a big shot. Like, he's like, we're going to do this. We're going to be consistent. Okay. And that's when we started seeing a huge change. Okay. The consistency, drinking our water, making sure we were taking it every single day. Mm -hmm. And it was, um, again, not a magic pill. It was probably about six months in or so. Mm -hmm. We're sitting on the couch. And all of a sudden, I'm like, I don't, I'm talking to my husband. I don't know the last time you popped Tums because he would pop Tums like candy. Regularly. And yeah. I'm like, and I don't remember the last time you had a pain pill. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you're right. And so we start like going through mm -hmm. what has changed in our health, just these, these natural organic changes that started happening because we were taking care of our gut and balancing mm -hmm. blood sugar and addressing inflammation. And those are the three things mm -hmm. that Plexus focuses on. Okay. So <clears throat> he's graduating from college, you know, he's mm -hmm. banking and finance. He starts looking into the compensation plan and he's like, this is phenomenal. And mm -hmm. I'm like, really? And I'm like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, we need to do this. And I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. He's like, we know what it's done for us. Mm -hmm. You have a passion for it. You've been doing the research in it. Right. It's like, I know tons of guys that are in the military that, you know, you're like, you're given Motrin and rock on soldier. Mm -hmm. So, so it's like, we, we were like, let's do this. Let's, mm -hmm. you know, impact some lives and have a blast doing it. Yeah. So we came up with gut health matters as our business okay. and, um, and who we are. And okay. then Plexus products are what we sell. Okay. And so it's been, it's been this just, it's been such a fun journey uh -huh. and the lives that we've been able to like network marketing plexus says it all the time our ceo his his mom was um did network marketing to support mm -hmm. support them right, so he's got right, a special right. place in his heart uh -huh. for network marketers i feel like he treats us all like his mom you know? <laughs> <laughs> um so but he's like network marketing done the way it sh it often isn't but should be mm -hmm. so um loving people right where they are Mm -hmm. uh, sharing our passion, being okay with no, might mm -hmm. not be a good fit for them. Mm -hmm. And and just, yeah, loving people in their journey. Because right. I said no, I right. ignored my friend for right. two months. Yeah. Um, but once, you know, once I got out of it and realized what it could do, mm -hmm. it was life changing. Yeah. So, so that's like... That's the, the whole big old... Boom. There's the chunk. You're like, <laughs> I'm going! <laughs> but, oops. But that's okay. Um... So first of all, that's amazing, and I kind of want to talk to you about it, because when you said um, bad e eating habits when you were super young mm -hmm. uh, can lay dormant until there's a stress factor, right. and then it jacks you up. Right. Um, I'm allergic to dairy now, all of a sudden. Okay. Like that, during the most stressful year of my life. Yes. And I'm only 25, so like, okay. what is that in context? Right, right. But even still, like the most yeah. stressful year of my life, like, now you're allergic to dairy. There you go, bud. <laughs> First of all, I hate my body for it. It's like no pizza. Like, what is what? that? But yeah. Okay. So anyway, let's talk more about you. Um, so you are in network marketing, and I think that's super interesting because you moved around in the military so much. Yes. So you were forced all the time to meet new people. Yes. And start new life. I mean, people who start aren't in the military over. don't understand, but every time yes. it's a new, a new process, right? right? New schools, new. So do you think that? really helped you doing this you know um i guess i had never fully made that connection but absolutely yeah um because yeah it's this it's this process of starting over every single time mm -hmm. um and it's yeah yeah building relationships and learning how to build relationships quickly because mm -hmm. you're like i got three to four years right. you know and yeah. then i'm gone yeah. again yeah. so it's the process of building relationships quickly knowing how to be open knowing how right. how to share quickly and mm -hmm. share um, you know, yeah, your passions and everything. Even so, if you're a little shy, I think yes. it still builds some confidence in you. Yes. Just because you really learn who you, who you are because you're connecting with so many different people right. every three to five years. Right, right, exactly. So when you were going through that time, like middle school, really high school era, 
were you super good in school? Were you like <laughs> entrepreneurial? Were like were you A B kid? So, I mean, what's 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 so that? So I was story? actually homeschooled. Okay. Yep. So okay. I was homeschooled, um, and I loved it. Okay. I really did, and we we made friends quickly throughout our homeschool networks mm-hmm. and our co-ops, mm-hmm. um, our churches, and okay. in our neighborhoods. Like okay. we were the house that all the neighborhood kids hung mm-hmm. out at. Which was really cool because they didn't know us from school. They knew everybody else from school, from the okay. military school, yeah. but they would all come and hang out. Yeah. And it was, you know, but there was five kids. I'm one of five mm-hmm. as well. So, okay. um, so there's a lot of kids. But. So the networking really came naturally out of that. And then was there any like entrepreneurial behind that? Like at homeschool, I just assume mm-hmm. I, I wasn't homeschooled. Did you have more time, like just in general, in the day than you would? Yeah, in yeah, absolutely. So, what did you do to fill that? Those so, blocks? I love to do. Um, we love to do little things to do to, to be entrepreneurs. We, um, a friend of mine, actually, we had a radio program. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was. Uh, see, I can't believe I'm sharing this. I've never <laughs> shared this. <laughs> um, it was OTA. Okay. On the air. All yeah. right. <laughs> I like it. And yeah, and we would do little recordings and things uh-huh. like that. And my friends. So we always had this idea of, you know, uh, working and sharing mm-hmm. and figuring out what we could do. We were always okay. thinking what we could do. Okay. Um, you know, and typical kid stuff too. We always did like lemonade stands and mm-hmm. garage sales and stuff like that. So there was definitely like a, a built in, maybe not entrepreneur because that's a buzzword now, right. but like a business owner, like kind of yes. do your own thing, generate your own money, not yes. rely on other people kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So. After that, did you ever have like a, a desire? Like you said, you wanted to join the military. Now yes. That was there ever a desire of like I want to start my own thing and do my own thing? Yes. And I also I want to mention um, my mom did network marketing. Okay. So I got to see a lot of that, and she, you know, she kind of had a rough road with some things, and mm-hmm. um, and again, if you don't have the proper support system, and Absolutely. network marketing back then was way different. Yeah. So. Um, but that initial, her desire to contribute to our family, even mm-hmm. while being a stay-at-home mom, mm-hmm. um, and her drive and to get out there and do things, that mm-hmm. was inspiring to me. So my yeah. mom was a big inspiration there. Um, let's see, your question was? Did you have like an innate, like, oh, I yes. want to start my own so, thing, do my right. own thing? So before, while my husband was going through school, mm-hmm. um, I started um, a preschool in my home. Okay. So I okay. would be only, you know, it was pretty small, but mm-hmm. it was a way for me to have kids in the house and my kids, you know, have my right. kids in the home. And then we had probably about four or five other kids that came in and we mm-hmm. did preschool and our focus was American Sign Language because okay. I took American Sign Language in college mm-hmm. and had private tutoring. Mm-hmm. Um, so I absolutely love American Sign Language. So that was our focus, and we did that, and we did that for two years. You just and dropped a little nugget in there that I don't think you touched on during your story. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say anything about college in this in the original. Story. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> okay. American Sign Language, and then we're gonna roll back. Okay, okay. So, uh, so you're gonna talk about American Sign Language? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in college. <laughs> either, yeah. Either okay. way. So you, or so the preschool, not American. Okay. Sign so yeah. So the preschool. So yeah, we um we were doing this, and our focus, you know, and I was like, and it was fun. We had mm-hmm. you know own our own business so we start that was kind of the start of building something from the ground up Mm -hmm. and I kind of had I had high hopes for it too and I Mm -hmm. wanted to do all these different things then I got pregnant with baby number five okay and have the the hard part of owning my business like that was Mm -hmm. having to have my doors open Monday Wednesday and Friday Every, you know, three days, so only three days mm-hmm. a week, but I had to have my doors open. Yeah. So no matter what I was dealing with, I had to wake up and have my doors open. Mm-hmm. Um, so that started to just wear on me as a Absolutely. mom. And yeah. then we were moving into more homeschooling with our kids. Mm-hmm. So that started started to wear on me. And when we got into network marketing, mm-hmm. that was a huge appeal because I ha- if I have Wi-Fi, I can work and mm-hmm. I can work in my PJs. I don't have to open my door necessarily right. yeah. anyway. right. and it was so much more conducive for mm-hmm. a homeschooling family okay yeah so that was so did you like just cut the homeschool out or did you fade it out as like gut health matters or where was that no we're where doing the transition? so my husband and i are full-time homeschooling parents uh-huh. and we do uh gut health matters okay so we're doing both side by side Okay. Well, yeah. so you you guys don't homeschool other children. Do no, you? You we say, don't okay. homeschool other right. kids. So the preschool did. So the preschool started to fade out. I you know I was pregnant with baby number five, mm-hmm. and um, things were getting kind of crazy. I thought I could handle mm-hmm. it, but about I think the the 
baby was two months old. Mm -hmm. And the other moms were kind of like, you doing good? And I'm like, <laughs> I think it's reaching a point. I think this is going to be our last semester. Uh -huh. I was like, we want to see this through. And they were like, awesome, let's oh, see this okay. through. So we saw it through to May and we faded out. Mm -hmm. And then we picked up with, because we had already been like starting to share okay. and starting to build our business. Mm -hmm. And we actually matched we matched our income from the preschool within two months. Okay. So we closed in May, mm -hmm. and by by June, July, we were. So it wasn't like your kid bit my kid. He's <laughs> it wasn't, it was like the end of the no. semester. Yes. Now yes. <laughs> yes, we totally saw it through. Um, but we were really realizing what we had with okay. network marketing, what we had with Plexus, and we were like, you know what? We can fade this out. We can probably make this same income, mm -hmm. and we can really focus in on our kids okay. and not you know, not have to open our doors every Monday, Wednesday, right. Friday. Right, which with a big family like that makes sense why right. like, that is an important factor, and you still feel the need of owning your own business and having your right. own business. Right, exactly. Um, so, back to, you went to college? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I okay. actually went to UAA. Okay. So, um, you know, my husband and I get married. I, I was 19. He was 23. Mm -hmm. uh, he joins the military six months after we move up here, and I start going to college. Okay. So um, I had no idea. I, I thought I wanted to go into physical therapy, and then I thought I wanted to go into... Because I always had this passion for the medical field. Okay. I always had this passion for right. helping people get better and feel better and be the best version of themselves. Like, I, I wanted that. I them. wonder what that translated into. Right? <laughs> <laughs> So, but I like changed my major three or four times because, mm -hmm. you know, it's just crazy. So let me just build a little bit more context yep. around this. Was there any babies at this point? Like you no. Guys just, right. No, there was so, no babies. We waited so six and still... a half years before okay. popping all our kids up. So you were still like trying to figure out, he just joined the military. You're trying right. to figure out like, what is this like for me? Exactly. Okay. Yep. So, um, so yeah, we're going through, I finally ended up uh, getting a degree in human services. So it's a counseling okay. based degree. Okay. And at that point, as we're nearing the end of, of college, I'm like, I'm done and I want babies. Like that okay. little clock was ticking and I was like, <laughs> it's time, I want babies. So, um, so then we had our first baby and when I was 26 mm -hmm. and then he was just about to deploy and found out I was pregnant with my second baby. Mm -hmm. um, so I was three months pregnant when he deployed with, um, with yeah, when I was with the second baby. So, um, okay. so yeah, then we're right. And then, like you said, on. just you're like once we get the ball yep. rolling, we're, we're just, just kept gonna, going. We're gonna, keep, we're gonna keep it rolling. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Is the ball still rolling, yeah. you guys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, I, I reserve the right to change my mind. Mm -hmm. At Absolutely. this point, I'm yeah. good. Uh -huh. But we've yeah. got five kids in eight years. My oldest is eight, so okay. it's you know we're we're. Mm -hmm. We're busy. Yeah. But it's good. Um, so there's another thing that I, I hit on that really I, I feel like I uh, connected a few dots. Okay. And that is you took American Sign Language. Right. And then the first thing you did, like once you like you had kids at this point and you wanted to start a business, you started teaching people. Yes. Right? Which I think is another reason why this works so well for you, right? Yes. Because you don't have to have your doors open. Right. It's something you're passionate about. And there's a theme in your life that you're trying to teach kids and like you're just trying to help and teach people you even yes. the first thing you did was medical field yes. to help and teach people get better right so right at this point you're teaching them how to fish right yes. rather than physical therapy right. you're like yes. you're giving them the fish yes. you're teaching them how love to take it. care of themselves right. ahead of time right huh. definitely so that's definitely. super awesome ah love it so where are we in the story because we're all over the place i know now. i know <laughs> um that's about um, how i am so now we're in your business you have five kids eight to what's the youngest uh he's 18 months Okay. Yeah. So 18 months to eight, full-time homeschoolers, yep. and your husband does not work. No. Well, he does yeah, work. Right, he works, yeah. <laughs> right. right. But he doesn't have, like, another job. You guys both right. do the business we together. Both do this, so, yeah. Was that, he got out of the military, and he just yep. jumped right into it, and you guys started rolling, or? Yes, yeah, so, you know, we, we started getting consistent in 2016, and mm -hmm. we would say probably 2018, we got serious about mm -hmm. the business side. And this was like, it was crazy. I mean, it's been a crazy year, year and a half-ish. Mm -hmm. Because we went from him going, I mean, it was, you know, 10 to 12 hour days in the military. Mm -hmm. And then he was going to school full time. So he was still very busy and would right. leave the house and come back. Um, but then we were together like 24-7. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do with you? <laughs> so it was this transition period of figuring uh -huh. out roles again. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of mental change for me mm -hmm. as I realized I can um, be a mom, but mm -hmm. he can take over some things and I'm right. okay with it. I love this story. I have to share this really quick. Um, 
and this is this was the turning point of me realizing I needed to let go of some things and okay. for us to mesh. We're standing in the kitchen mm -hmm. and I'm cooking eggs. Mm -hmm. And he's standing there and we're hot tea drinkers. Mm -hmm. And so he's holding this hot tea and he's like, Really? That's how you're gonna cook the eggs? And I'm like, you know what? You can cook breakfast if you want to. He's like, that'd be great. I love cooking breakfast. And I was huh. like, oh, oh. Yeah. I don't have to do this. This is something he enjoys because I was getting all cocky and having uh -huh. an attitude. But he was just genuinely being like, really? That's how you're going to cook right. the eggs? You know, uh -huh. but I took it wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, this is called miscommunication. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so he took over. And so he does breakfast. Like, that's mm -hmm. his thing. You know, uh -huh. we he does breakfast in the morning. And we right. now we have our roles where I was thinking, okay, I'm the mom. And he goes to work. And uh -huh. I'm going to do all these things. And right. where we just share stuff now. And, right. he, and it's just... It's beautiful. Once we could, we had that clear communication, and mm -hmm. we learned how to put our hats on, like mm -hmm. our homeschooling parents' hats, and okay, this is work hat now. Right. To where he can come across the table and be like, "I need to give you some constructive criticism," and I can take it well because we right. got our work hats on. Right. So it was this huge process. Like this did mm -hmm. not happen overnight, but mm -hmm. this huge process of us figuring out what does this look like being around each other 24 7 right and making this work just that transition out of the military really i'm gonna say it everyone struggles with it yes because it is a complete lifestyle change no matter yes. what you change into exactly even something similar right Com it's right. completely different yes. right almost no matter what that person is home more often right more often than they used to right right and he went from not home more often He's home all the time. All the time. All the time. <laughs> yes. And like, and no one, we didn't answer to anybody. Mm -hmm. Like this was totally different for us. We didn't right. answer to teachers. We didn't answer uh -huh. to, you know, nobody. Yeah, not to the parents of the, the right. homeschool yeah, children. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. It's Nothing. Like, we were just like totally, it was just, I mean, we were like, okay, we don't have to set an alarm clock. Uh -huh. We don't have to, you know, all these yeah. different things we had to figure out mm -hmm. and learn how to make this mess. And we're still right. learning. It's not like we have this figured out. And it's always going to change. It's too. always going to change. Right. right. So, um, so yeah, it's been, okay. it's been quite a ride. <laughs> so uh, I asked that question because I was interested to know, I see with a lot of the people I interview that it's like a build, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where yeah. It, you guys... It doesn't seem like you guys really build. You guys were like, this is what we're doing. It. This is what we're passionate about. We're rolling. Yeah. Like, this is on it. We're in it. Here we go. Right, right. We're jumping in. Uh -huh. Both feet. Seeing what happens. And so you said, when did he get out of the military? Um, oh, goodness. He's been out four years. Was it 2000? Uh, I'm sorry. 2015. Okay. So then 2016, you guys got serious with the Right. Plexus, we got commitment. And then 2018, it was like. Right. So is, 2016, is that when you guys started doing the actually running the gut health matters no or? that's when i mean we were still kind of sharing and kind of figuring this out but mm -hmm. it wasn't 2017 is when we were like um let's like name this let's like call what are we doing mm -hmm. what are we building up to what are we okay. and so that's when we started looking into um kind of just branding okay and figuring yep. that out yep. what in the world is branding like right. you talk yeah. about it all the time <laughs> yeah. i don't even know what it is so that mm -hmm. that's when we started really digging into branding mm -hmm. and we kind of clung on to gut health matters okay and so 2018 it just naturally built into that okay so that's where i want to get into now is the growth of that okay how like you got serious about it you named it and right. then what was the course of action was it like we're gonna get social media we're gonna start right. networking like yep. what, what what are the things that turned you into how successful you are today nice okay so Social media is totally our drive. Like, I love Facebook. I love mm -hmm. Instagram. I, I kind of tinker with LinkedIn. Um, I don't okay. tweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, okay. But Facebook and social so, media. So, uh, I heard something really... Do you watch Gary Vee at all? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gary Vee said, man, it was probably two weeks ago, that Twitter is the water cooler of the internet. So, you remember... In yes. The, in oh, my goodness. Office, I heard him say that. Right? Okay. And I was like, bing. Yes. Because yes. Twitter is so hard to manage and figure yes. out. I'm like, what do I even post? Right. The important thing... Is like random thoughts or like your Instagram post, and okay. then you engage with other people. That's how you use Twitter. Okay. And I was like, thank you, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Well, I've been thinking about it because I'm like, I love Facebook, I love Instagram, mm -hmm. um, LinkedIn is cool. But I'm like, I don't even know what to do mm -hmm. with Twitter. So that's great. That's okay. great advice. Yeah. So. so before I'm super passionate about social media, so I'm gonna hold on to this uh -huh. as much as possible. Um, it's really easy to say like. I do Facebook. Right. It can mean a million things. Yes. So like, what do you, are you like blogging? Are you writing things? Are you making right. a video log? Are you like, what are you doing actually on okay. the social medias to drive business? So 
my goal and what I've been working towards is simply showing up. So okay. this is my big thing is showing up mm -hmm. no matter what. Okay. So, uh, and that means showing up in groups that I'm involved in mm -hmm. to where I'm adding value and mm -hmm. talking with people and chatting mm -hmm. with people and building these relationships. And I can't tell you, like, um, I love it because it's, mm -hmm. I am contacting and talking to people all over the world mm -hmm. and these are building relationships and social media, like people are like, yeah, but social media, yeah, you can have a love hate relationship with social media and it can be a complete waste of time. Absolutely. Like you can watch cat videos and blow your day, uh -huh. but when you are intentional and you're uh -huh. going out there and building relationships and providing mm -hmm. value in people's lives and learning from other people's experiences, like this is where it's at. Like it's a tool. Why not hop on this? You absolutely control what you see on your social yes. media. Yes. hundred percent. So if it's super negative, that's then because you, yes. you brought that on yourself. Right. And yep, you can yep, change yep. it just as easy as it came about. Absolutely. hundred percent. Absolutely. So it's, it's everything in life. It's like being intentional with what you do. Like mm -hmm. you wake up every morning and you make choices whether you realize it or not. Uh, starting with when you wake up exactly. and how many times you snooze. And, right. right. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yes. So it's, it's living life intentionally and that's yep. what you have to do on social media. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, being in Facebook, being involved in groups, paying attention to mm -hmm. what's going on in the mm -hmm. people's lives that you're interested in yeah. and, um, and showing up and providing value for them. And yep. then just showing up every day on your page. This was my jump into June thing that mm -hmm. I've been doing. Um, I show up even when I freaking don't feel like it. Yeah. So well, it's June like sixth was the day. Yes. I remember it was, you were like, <laughs> It's 11.58. I really don't <laughs> want to do this. Exactly. I but I'm here. Be, but I'm here and I'm going to, like, I'm like, man, I'm going to keep showing up even uh -huh. though I don't. And it's totally, like, this has been, this year, really, this year has been, like, I am going to learn social media mm -hmm. if it kills me. Yeah. Because I know, because I've built these amazing relationships. Like, this is so, so random, but there's a woman in Uganda right now who is, okay. um, pregnant and about mm -hmm. to give birth and I connected with a lady she knows mm -hmm. and now we're chatting on Facebook and I'm like I'm praying for you and praying praying through this for you yeah and like I know a lady in Uganda who's about to give birth to a baby yeah. and I'm connected with her mm -hmm. and praying for her well-being I'm mm -hmm. like there's no other time in history where this would be possible. It's the most amazing time. Yes, the it most is. Amazing. So yeah. I'm like, I love social media for that for that reason. And what I want to encourage people with is be intentional. Mm -hmm. Social media can run you, so don't let it. Right. So it's like use it as a tool. Right. Be intentional. Build relationships, and those are real people on the other side of the screen. Uh -huh. So treat them that way. Uh huh. So. Ah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no, I am a hundred percent on the same level as you and trying to do the same thing through real estate. Yes. The same way through real okay, estate. And okay. not just real estate related because not real estate's one of those weird places where you're only buying real estate. The average is like five to seven years and for some people it's more than that and less than that. It's sure. just it's just not a very common transaction to go through. Right. Right. Okay. So my question was like, how do I add value to people's lives even when they're if you just bought a house, how do I add value to your life? Right. That's where this comes from. Nice. Right? Like building okay. value through the community. So that way you know like this is the business these are the businesses, these are the business owners, this is the yes. community, this is what you can look forward to. This is the street names, the neighborhoods. Yes. The, right. All <laughs> That's of that. Awesome. Stuff. I love it. So I'm a hundred percent with you. All the social media yeah. and being very intentional with it because yes. it is one yeah one wrong click and it's like oh god here we go right <laughs> this cat rabbit hole <laughs> this is just keep going why yeah. do we keep watching this yeah so do you I know you're doing the Facebook lives right now do you do like other like for as just gut health matters like um, some kind of educational thing or like what are you actually are yeah. you just en engaging in groups? What's the so with Instagram since I've got a business account with Instagram mm -hmm. I've got that that uh, Business account with Facebook because they're like connected. Mm -hmm. So I Plug have it real quick. What is it? It's, it's <laughs> Iris Deanna, so okay. uh, my handle on Instagram is iris dot Deanna. Okay, and um, and then yeah, my business site is mm -hmm. just is iris Deanna and gut health matters You put in gut health matters and you should come be able to find it. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so on there, uh, I'm connected with, like, I'm always, I'm watching TED Talks, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. reading about mm -hmm. gut health, the cutting edge mm -hmm. of uh, scientific research with gut health. Love it, love it. So I'm constantly dropping articles here and there mm -hmm. in there, so providing some education. But I'm looking to do more. I'm looking to probably okay. get, do more lives, 
mm-hmm. and talk face to you know do like some five minute um, your gut health tips for the day kind of a thing right. so that's my goal and that's what I'm moving towards mm-hmm. is to do more of that education because okay. I mean not everybody's gonna read an article and it can be and right. a lot of those articles are like deep in science so there's mm-hmm. a lot it's very wordy yeah so right. um, there's not too many that, ologies yeah, <laughs> yes. like, ah. and not that I understand it all but um but you know, I, I love reading it, so mm-hmm. I do it. So being able to do those those blips to where I can provide some value and kind of break things down a little bit. Okay. So that's um, the yeah. We talked words. about a little bit. Have you heard the Gary Vee middle or seen like the Gary Vee content deck? It's no. the most amazing thing. No. That's, yeah. <laughs> it's like an eighty-eight page deck of like this is how you break down your social media oh, and be super intentional awesome. about it and get. 30 pieces of content in one day. Like off of this, I could probably get 30 pieces of content. Oh my goodness, I've got to watch this. Because then you're not spending an hour recording and editing and doing like your five gut health tips for the day. Right. Instead, you're answering someone else's questions or something like that, and that turns into it organically. Plus, you had the first pillar piece of like asking the questions you post, then you cut it down to like, this was a very good question with a good answer, post that, post that, and then like people are gonna be like, I love that part of it, okay, I'm gonna post that too. Right? Nice. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'll send you a link. To yep. It. I need that link. Okay. So you definitely do social media. Yes. I could talk about it all day. But right. We got to move on. Right. You also do networking pretty well, don't I you? Do. I do. Yeah. Tell me about that. So I've been involved with BNI, mm-hmm. and you know what mm-hmm. BNI is. Okay. Yep. So I've been involved with that since October. I learned about what it was back in August, and I was mm-hmm. like, "What is this? What yeah. are we talking about?" Uh-huh. Um. So I got involved with that, and it has been. It's been so educational. Like the educational part of it has mm-hmm. been absolutely amazing. How to run a small business, how um, how to educate people to be able to talk about you. Right. Um, that is so key. Yeah. And and just how to share value and to have that perspective. To have the perspective of how can I add value to your life? Mm-hmm. Like they're saying is givers gain. And I love that mm. because if you are adding value and you're giving back to your community, mm. it's going to come full circle to you. Hundred uh, percent. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so I love this mindset. And again, again, even within BNI, within this networking group, um, it's it's connecting with the community, but it is being intentional, mm-hmm. and it's being intentional with your conversations, being right. intentional with your relationships. Yeah. And it has been it has been so much fun, and yeah. It's this conversation with yes. 15, 20, yes, 50 people exactly. depending on the size of your being right? Right. right. Yeah. And I get to learn about businesses that I would have never learned about before, mm-hmm. like the ins and outs. And again, you get to hear people's stories and mm-hmm. why did they choose their business and right. what drives them. Right. And then I want to do business with that person because mm-hmm. I know what drives them and I know you know what their what their goals are. Mm-hmm. Like you don't get that from from an internet search, you don't get that from, you know, like a yellow pages, you don't get that. You only get that through the relationship. Yes. The most important part exactly. of any business. Exactly. Any business. Right. Okay. So. Um. So social media and BNI, and I'm assuming those are the two main drivers of your those business? Those are my, are yeah, more? those are the two main ones. I've uh, been to the Chamber of Commerce a little bit, and I would like okay. to plug back in there. Mm-hmm. Um, so just, again, just being able to, you the know, networking, networking yeah. but just chat with more people and know what's mm-hmm. out there. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and going to these places with the, uh, with the mindset and the intention of learning about other people, mm-hmm. not talking about myself. Right. So right. that's... Because then, right away, like, you ask them, like, hey, what do you do? Right. The very natural next question is like, this is what I do. What do you do? Right. Right. Yes, exactly. And that, that back and, and just, forth. Just, yeah, letting, letting that roll out and just going. I, be, I totally believe whether it's social media, BNI, a networking group, the chamber, whatever it is, you have to go in there with the mindset of learning about others and mm-hmm. caring about others. Right. This is not about you. Yeah. So that has to be your intention. And if you can wrap your head around that, mm-hmm. there's no stopping you. Gary Vee is like my guiding light, right? <laughs> and he said, man, I listen to his podcast every day. That's awesome. And so I think it was two days ago, he was like, when you're putting out content on social media, your goal should be to put out content that has nothing to do with your business, right? Yes. Just yes, add yes, value yes. to other people's right. lives and then they're going to trust you. Yes, right? And then absolutely. they're going to want to do business with you. Right. That's how you do it. Exactly. So, yeah. Same, ah, I love it. Yeah. Good We're stuff. on the same page here. Yeah. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so a few more things, and we're gonna wrap up. Um, you talked a few things, or a few times, where you put the the word out that your business has done very well. Yes. Right. What does that mean? 
Like, is it double? You don't have to give specific sure. numbers, but what does that growth so, look like? Um, right now, it's been just huge momentum, like mm -hmm. huge momentum with the people that um, are in my team. We kind of went through just a, I, not stagnant, but probably stagnant, stagnant of a, I don't know what I'm doing phase. Mm -hmm. So it was just very, very stagnant. Um, but now with our intention and our mindset mm -hmm. shift, we have had huge momentum mm -hmm. and we haven't had like massive growth just yet income wise, but it's like we're literally on the edge and we're just about to dive into the pool. All the other factors yes. are, here <laughs> it's we right go. There. Uh -huh. So, and I knew, I knew at the very beginning of, of 2019, I was like, this is our year, mm -hmm. Th this is it. Mm -hmm. And as we've been building more and more, cause I mean, you know, 2017, 2018, us getting serious. So this is yeah. on the cusp of us actually being intentional and, and making it a point to provide value to other people, love people right, right where they are, um, mm -hmm. you know, be 110% if it's not a good fit for them. And, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, but so we've got this momentum going on right on the edge of it. And I'm like, this is, I mean, it's such an exciting time in our yeah. business. Um, and to it's, see our other team like just catching this vision mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, being able to encourage them in their journey and hearing all the people that are having their lives change. Yeah. It's just huge. Yeah. It's 27 huge. and 2018, you have to build a foundation yes. first, right? Right. Before you right. can, now you guys, it sounds like you're building yes. on top of that foundation. Exactly. And that's always the most fun part. Definitely. You can see it, right? Yes. Yeah. It's like, oh my goodness. Is, yeah. Yeah. It's so exciting. Okay. Um, so. There's three things we're going to finish with. Okay. The first is, was there anything that we did not talk about that you wanted to talk about or bring up today? Um, I'm drinking. <laughs> 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 uh, so my husband and I are hot tea drinkers. Like uh -huh. We're kind of hot tea snobs. Mm -hmm. um, so we love loose leaf tea. And okay. this is the library blend. Okay. And it's a mix of black and green tea. Okay. It's really, really yummy. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than uh -huh. that, um, I don't... I don't know. We covered a lot. We, uh -huh. I, I think we covered it good. I love everything you picked out. and Perfect. You know, yeah. So the next part then you're going to love even more. And that is, I always want to give you the opportunity to give you, we'll call it your 30 seconds of fame. Okay. Right? So tell them like exactly what to expect or how to contact you. Or okay. plug whatever you want to plug in as far as your business and how to contact okay. you. Okay. Okay. So guthealthmatters.com is kind of the hub of where you can get to know us a little bit mm -hmm. and then contact us on social media. Okay. Um, but you can also plug in your email and we can okay. contact you there. Um, I would love to offer free samples to anyone who contacts me. Mm -hmm. And um, I love setting up like coffee meetups and we can mm -hmm. talk, kind of go into a little bit more detail mm -hmm. and see if this is a good fit for you. Like okay. this is not a magic pill. I'm not just uh -huh. sending out magic pills and then ah, oh, you're all great. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Let's uh -huh. see what you know. See what you're dealing with. See right. if it's a good fit. So contact me at guthealthmatters.com and okay. we can set up a coffee date, get you a free sample, mm -hmm. and chat some more. Um, and then social media also is my job. Iris Deanna. Uh, you can look guthealthmatters.com or uh, Gut Health Matters on um, Facebook mm -hmm. and find me there. And yeah, and I just chat and mm -hmm. see answer some questions. We can talk about the product and. So if you don't mind, after this, will you go on this video and comment with yes. that your website, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff, Absolutely. and I'll pin it to the top so that way anybody that watches it, it's right there for Perfect. you. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Now, this is the most fun part because I'm going to put you on the spot <laughs> oh, that nobody no. ever expects, uh, but it's super good, and that is, you heard Gary Vee, so you know exactly what I'm about to do. He always, when he has guests on his show, does... There is, I'm averaging right now about 1,500 people between the podcast, YouTube, okay. Facebook. Okay. If you had those 1,500 people in a room and you could ask them one question, what would your question oh of the day be? Oh, my goodness. Um, <clears throat> I would say, what would be the number one way I could provide value to your life right now? What would be the number one way that you can provide value to their life? Yeah. Any social media is there a way to contact you on the Gut Health Matters website, like a place to like yep. put a message? Yes. So anything, anything. Facebook, Instagram, yep. guthealthmatters.com, go on there, tell her how she can provide value to your life. That's right. That's it. Yeah. That's what better way to finish it, right? Yeah. Thank yeah. you for doing All this. All right. Awesome. This has been so fun. I need you to hit finish on that. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs>